So I'm going to put this chart on the screen right now. If you're watching on YouTube, if you are on one of the podcast platforms, maybe you can explain it for them. This chart that I'm showing right now, you can see, you know, from the top P1 male, P1 female, and then it goes down. You got your F1s, your F2s, F3s, F4s, F5s, F6s, and then actually it connects back to a P1 due generation. First, could you explain this chart for us in layman's terms? All right, so so P1 is going to be the parent uh, the parent generation. That's where we're starting off with uh, me, me, uh, mother and father. So that is um, that is um, where, we're, where we're basically starting off the, the, the generation, the, the, the outcross of the mother and the father. That is the start of that generation. And that's, um, that's, those offspring are going to get us into F1. All right. Those offspring are going to are going to get us to F1. So the difference between F1 and F2 is F1 is the start using the parents. F2 is the actual start of the line of the inbred line using the offspring. So in this case, when you see F2, 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 that's when we've opened up to the most variety, the most choices of of choosing our phenotypes and our characteristics and our alios is what we call them, um, our versions of what we, uh, that's when we start our selective breeding process, that F2 generation. And then from there is what you pretty much see um, is the selective process of um, him picking uh, or whoever it is, picking <laughs> picking certain offspring there and, um, you know, breeding them together. And uh, as we go down, we just run into different generations. Uh, uh, at attempts to stabilize the strain, you got A, M. These are all um, characteristics that are being uh, selectively bred for. Uh, we go down in the F4, F4, F4. So, yeah, he kind of stops in, in F6. And that's typically uh, at that point where I would generally back cross back to the parent. And that's where you see P1 all over again. So it's funny. That's how we, we spoke just about that right before. So that was that's cool. Really cool chart. That's that's genetic mapping right there. That's what we use for, uh, you know, that's what we use to for reference. Gotcha, gotcha. So definitely a good chart to have on hand. Absolutely. Now the listener, the question that had in regards to this chart is, if two parents are bred together, which level of generational offspring will show the strongest level of expressions in terpenes? Okay, so that is an awesome question, but we're not necessarily going to. So what? We're, so you'll get the most variety in the F two generation. So you'll probably find your, your your best options and your strongest terpenes and variety right there in the F two generation because you have more to choose from. Okay, so that's where I, that's where that's what we want to start our hunt for. That's what we want to start looking in the F twos. A lot of people think it's F ones that are really? you know what i mean i think that was the misinformation that was passed around yeah it shows you right here in the chart you, you see the f1 is um only limited amount of offspring compared to f2 where we have a wide variety we kind of open up the gene pool at that point and um we get such a wide selection and that's where we start the selective breeding process to say hey because we're going to get instability as well we get a wide variety where we get instability so now we have to focus on selective breeding and, and making sure that we stabilize or work towards stabilizing by picking the right, picking the right, uh, the right offspring. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code Mister Grow at fifteen to save on any of their products.